What's up guys? Baker here. Today I have a tutorial on a quick transition I made up. It's called the Luma Fade transition. And it's pretty simple. It's kind of subtle, but I like the way it looks. And uh, I have two examples. Here's the first one. I'm going to preview this real quick. It's basically where the next clip fades on uh, the bright parts first. So if you look at this in slow motion, we have the bright part of the uh, roof coming in and then the rest of the clip. And then the second example is a little bit more defined and it looks like this. So you can see the um, roof is coming in first, a lot more defined, and um, pretty cool, easy transition, and uh, I'm going to show you real quick. So let me delete these really quick, reset this. So you're going to have two overlapping clips, and um, that's about it. You can have color correction, whatever you want, and um, second clip can have Twixer on it, anything can work all you have to do is duplicate your second clip and then we're going to modify this we'll call this uh, clip to mat and we'll turn the sound off what we will do the first one is first apply a tint let's all actually solo this as well so we have a tint here then we're gonna apply some levels to contrast this a little bit so something like that, maybe not so bright. You can always play around with these. So um, yeah. Anyways, after we contrast it, we're gonna add some exposure. And first, we are going to bring this down so we can't see anything except a little bit of the brightness down here. So pretty much down all the way to negative 10. Keyframe the exposure. Move forward a second or so. Keyframe this up until it is completely white. Now there will be, so let me keyframe this to 10, there will be some black parts that will not turn white at all. All we have to do is go back to our levels and <clears throat> adjust the output black until those go away. So just a quick adjustment and they are gone. We need this to be completely white because we are going to use the Luma mat on the, our actual clip too and um, we need this to be completely white so everything will show up so we can see here it slowly fades on the bright parts first so that's good one thing you can do to make it a little bit smoother is just add a quick fast blur before and after everything so in the very beginning do a quick 5 pixel blur repeat edge pixels duplicate this and put this on the very end and we get a nice luma fade transition. The other way to do it, that's more defined, I'll delete all these. So we have our clip 2 and we duplicate it, we have a clip 2 mat. So first thing we do is just get a nice threshold, regular threshold. And if I solo this again, all it does is it takes a specific level and pretty much solos it. So what we will do is go all the way down so it's completely black and all you need to do is go to 255 that is the most black it will get keyframe move forward bring it down to zero so it is all white and that is about it so you can see it comes in like that again we can apply a fast blur before and after so about five pixels repeat edge pixels duplicate put it down at the bottom, unsolo, and we get, uh, actually turn it off too, so we get our second clip fading on from the brights first. Now what you can do is the fast blur before the threshold, you can crank that up and it makes it more like blobby, I guess. So depending on what kind of look you're going for, I like it a little bit more detailed, so leave it closer to 5 and um, that is about it quick transition I really like it make sure to like and favorite and comment and go to Facebook I talk to my fans on there and all that if you have any questions let me know and that is about it okay peace